All right, so this example says a gas mixture made from six grams of oxygen and nine grams of methane is placed into a 15 liter vessel at zero degrees Celsius. What is the partial pressure of oxygen? What is it most close to? So we got four options right there. And now because each gas behaves independently, we can calculate the pressure that each would exert if the other were not present. So we must first convert the mass of oxygen and methane into their mole equivalent. So as you see right there, we're converting six grams of oxygen, nine grams of uh, methane, using the molecular weight. Again, that's in the periodic table. Sometimes a problem statement will give it to you. If not, that's where you go. So we got 0.188 moles of oxygen. We got 0.563 moles of methane. So that tells us that the total moles within the system is 0.188 plus 0.563 for a total of 0.751. And the mole fraction of oxygen is the number of moles of the oxygen divided by the total moles of the mixture so that mole fraction is 0.25. Now we can use the now we can use the ideal gas equation to calculate the partial <laughs> pressure of each gas. Remember, this is on page 87 of the NCS reference handbook, so um, get very familiar with it. Now the universal gas constant for the units we are using in this particular problem is 0 0.08206. That's referenced in your handbook. We got moles for oxygen is 0.188. We're given the degrees, the temperature in Celsius. We gotta convert that to Kelvin. If we don't, um, we're gonna have big problems. We're definitely not gonna get this problem correct. Actually, our calculator will, will give us an error. Now we can convert that just simply from memory, knowing that uh, the conversion is degrees Celsius, whatever we're given, plus 273.15. And then of course we got a volume of 15 liters. So now we got all the information to determine the partial pressure. We plug that all into our equation and we're going to get a partial pressure of the mixture of 0.281 atmospheres.